Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the new session. I hope you all are safe and fine at home. I am Minil Purswani, your science teacher from Little Angels High School, Gwalior. Dear students, due to COVID-19 pandemic situation, it is difficult for us to meet with each other. So until all is well, I'll make you better learner through these videos. Children, you will love this subject as we will do many experiments and activities in this session. First, let me tell you about your science book. This is your new science textbook which is available on some sites. You can download its PDF and read it. Now let's start our first chapter, Food. Topics to be covered in this chapter are Food, Functions of food, food variety, ingredients of food, sources of food, classification of animals, food chain. Our first topic of this chapter, what is food? A substance which is eaten daily to provide energy to our body is called food. Food has some chemical substances present in it which are essential for the body are called nutrients. Now we need to understand functions of food. It provides the energy to do work. It helps in the growth of the body. It repairs worn out cells. It helps to regulate different body's processes like respiration, excretion, etc. And most important, it helps to boost up our immune system and protect against diseases. Children, have you ever noticed that what food your friends bring to school? Are they all same as your food? No, you all have different food choices. Especially Indian food offers a tremendous variety reflecting the richness and diversity of our people. The raw materials used for the preparation of the food are called ingredients. For example, boiled rice needs few ingredients. Vegetable biryani needs few more ingredients. These raw materials are responsible to give different taste to a particular dish. Students, we get these food ingredients from plants and animals, which are major sources of food. Plant as a sources of food. Green plants are also called autotrophs because they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. In this process, plants take carbon dioxide from its atmosphere and water from its roots and in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, which is present in green leaves, it gives oxygen and glucose. Different parts of plant also serve as a sources of food. As you can see, examples are given on your screen. You can learn. Animals as a source of food. Poultry animals. Animals like hens and ducks, which provide meat and eggs, are called poultry animals. And their products are also called poultry products. Milch animals, animals like cow, goat, buffaloes are milk killing animals, so they are called milch animals. Honey, it is prepared by honeybees by collecting the nectar from flowers in a part of ear. It is stored in beehives. It has antibacterial property and medicinal values. That's why it is used to make several Ayurvedic medicines. Rearing of honeybees for collecting honey on a large scale is called apiculture. Classification. Classification of animals based on their food habit. Herbivores. Only plant eaters. Carnivores. Only flesh eaters. Omnivores. Animals that eat both plants and flesh of other animals are called omnivores. Scavengers. Animals that feed on flesh of dead animals are called scavengers. Decomposers. They are tiny living organisms that feed on dead plants and animals and decompose them. Along with scavengers, they also help us to keep our earth clean. 
Now children, examples are given on your screen. Please note down and learn it. The last topic of this chapter is food chain. The process by which plants supply food to all living organisms is called as food chain. There is an example on your screen. In this example, grass will be eaten by grasshopper. Grasshopper will be eaten by frog. Frog will be eaten by snake. Snake will be eaten by hawk. And at last, hawk will be decomposed by decomposer. Children, all the food chain always starts with producer because they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and can supply their food to all living organisms. In this way, organisms directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food. Now let's do one exercise based on this chapter. Green plants are also called autotrophs. Honey is obtained from nectar of flowers. The stem is an edible part of potato plant. In a food chain, deer is herbivore. Honey has medicinal values. Hope you understood all the topics of this chapter. I will send you some study material through app so that you can revise and learn it well. See you soon in the next video session with a new chapter, Components of Food. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Thank you.